Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B. Today I've got a grocery haul for you. It's a good one. It's from a shop called The Company Shop, which I've never showed a video of here on my channel. It's also very hot today, friends. It's like 28 degrees, so I am red. Um, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but I wanted to show you what I got. Now, The Company Shop is, it's kind of... It's hard to describe, the lighting is not so good up here, it's late at night, well, I mean it's 8 o'clock, it's not that late, but it's, you know, it's getting on a bit, but the company shop, if you've never been to one before, you need a membership card to go in, which you can get, and it is free for a membership card, although they only let certain people get a card, which is a bit of a bummer, but if you have a friend who has a card, they can usually get you like a recommendation for free. The one I went to is in Renfrew, which is like just outside Glasgow, just next to the Glasgow airport. And it sells stuff that is either going out of date really soon or it's mislabeled, which I find so interesting. So it's stuff that says it was 500 grams, but actually it's 550 and they can't sell that in a regular shop. So they sell it at a discount in this shop or stuff that's going out of date, as I said, um, or just a surplus food and bits like because they do cleaning stuff as well and household bits so it is a great great shop but it is kind of potluck like you don't know what's going to be there so you can't go in with saying that you know you want to go and get this particular brand of butter because they might not have it in fact they might not have any butter at all in the whole shop so you have to be open-minded and just kind of go in and see what you can get and yeah I wanted to share my bargains with you. I'm trying not to like pat like a dog. It is honestly so so hot. I might open the window. Here we go. Be free. Um, but I also went to Matalan. Sky was in swimming and there's a Matalan. There's actually a Matalan right next to the company shop but it's an outlet one. I didn't go to the outlet one. I went to the regular one near Sky swimming. I thought I would throw this in. Um, so I got these earrings for myself. These were £2. We scanned at £2, so thank you. And then these ones. These ones have like little blue blue balls on them as well as, as, well as like a little petal. So I thought, I thought these were nice. I thought they would go with my multitude of blue dresses that I have. I paid full price for these. And then I got some socks for Skye. She just needed some more trainer socks. These ones have ladybugs, dots, cherries, what do we have here? Strawberries, more cherries. And then I picked her up a pair of joggies and I got Thomas this t-shirt and it was six bucks. I thought it looked nice. On to the company shop. Now this shop, this haul, this food is not, <laughs> in case you're wondering, in case you're not, not sure, is not my food for the week. It will not do me for a week. I have five people in my house a lot of them are very hungry, so this is not my weekly shop, but it is just just some good bits that I can either freeze, and I'll talk you through it as I go through it, the bits that I'm going to freeze, or what I'm going to do with it, because some of it is short dated. It's definitely not everything we need for the week. So first up, Thomas bought these. He went back in after we'd already been in the shop, because I was like, oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> um, so he went in and got some juice. I think these were about... 40 pence a can, 30 pence or something like that. So not a huge saving. And then he got, Thomas put Thomas put stuff in the trolley that I did not put. <laughs> so he got these after dinner, chocolate and orange fancies. These look fancy. And then he picked up ooh, two of these. These are Coca-Cola Energy. Um, they have got a lot of caffeine in them. A lot of people always ask me, oh, like, do you drink caffeine because we don't drink tea or coffee? It's not the caffeine, it's the actual tea or coffee that we don't drink. Um, but Thomas likes something like this every once in a while. And then these noodles, these are from Tesco. So at the company shop they have brands, they have like store brands, they have stuff with like no label on it and I don't know where it's came from. Um, but these, these are just some egg noodles, medium egg noodles and these are these were 60 pence but I checked on Tesco's website and they are normally a pound so I thought that was interesting and they don't go out date until June 2022 so I've got a couple of packets of them to stock up and now I got uh, this tub 
of whole grain gluten-free oats for a friend. She had a baby like maybe 10 days ago and I'm going to take her a meal this week but she is gluten-free. Um, well one of her kids is gluten-free so I thought I'd just do the whole thing gluten-free. Um, so I'm making a crumble so I need to get some gluten-free flour as well. Um, I hope that goes well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm making her dinner, I'm making a cottage pie, and then, yeah, crumble. So I thought that would be best, because I know, I know you need to get gluten-free oats as well. And then they had pink ladies, these were a pound for four, which I don't think, I don't think that's terrible. I don't think that's terrible. Our girl loves pink ladies, they're his favourite. And I got some milk, and then this, this was two pound for one kilo of chicken breast, which I thought was really really good and this is British chicken breast steaks in a mango, coconut and lime marinade. Sounds delicious. I don't know where this came from, it doesn't tell you on this, um, it just says it's going to outdate tomorrow so I'm just going to put this in the freezer as is. I also got a bottle of Sif, Tom's put this in the trolley too, I'm not sure, I imagine he's going to use it to clean something but I don't know what he's going to clean with it. And then Onto the ham. This was a fantastic price. So I got, they do have limits, so you're not allowed to buy more than six of one item. So I got six of these. We ate one in the car <laughs> on the way to swimming. Um, it's just honey roast ham and it was a bargain price. Doesn't go to date till the 6th of July, which is about a week away. And to be honest, we could really, I mean, I'm going to put some of this in the freezer, but we could actually eat all of that probably in a week because by the time everyone has a sandwich if you put two pieces of ham on it I would need two packets so yeah <laughs> but you can freeze a lot of people don't know this but you can freeze meats like this so and then just take it out the night before you want to you know make your sandwiches or whatever and that's, that's all you need to do you can also freeze whole sandwiches like ham and cheese peanut butter and jam you can freeze them as well and then I got this Brittany butter from Morrison's. I tried a Brittany butter once from, I think it was from Waitrose, but it wasn't, I don't think it was Waitrose's, it might have been Waitrose's own brand, I don't know, I'm waffling, and it was delicious. So I got some of this, and butter can also be frozen if you did not know. Picked up some milk chocolate mousse, not chocolate yogurt, if you know, you know. And then some of these, these are like um, Crunch Corner, but I think this, this is Aldi, or it might be Lidl's brand, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, got a few pack of them. These go to date tomorrow. Again, if we all have one tonight or tomorrow, that's them all gone. And these little pork pies, I can't stand pork pies. <laughs> I don't even think they're very good for you, but these are little mini ones. And these are barbecue pork pies. These don't go to date for, again, 6th of July, which is about a week away. But these, the weight on these is incorrect. So this one weighs 292 grams instead of 300. And this one we use 285 instead of 300. And these are from Lidl. So I got two packets of them for Thomas. Thought he could take a couple in his lunch to work or whatever. And then bacon. <laughs> Everybody loves bacon, don't they? <laughs> this is just some smoky, unsmoked, rather streaky, not smoky, streaky bacon. And I got a couple of packs of that. I'm just going to put that right in the freezer. You could also cook this and chop it up and then put it in your freezer. That would be a really great way to like add it to like pasta dishes or maybe you're having a baked potato. You could just take a little handful out and defrost it, like heat it up in the microwave as if it's already cooked and chopped. It would take no time at all in the microwave. So that's a great way to use something like that. And then the last thing I got were these massive, massive blocks of cheese. These are over one kilo and these were three pounds each. I think that is a fantastic price. It's mature coloured cheddar and it's from Iceland. It doesn't go out of date until the 7th of August. I probably should have got more. I probably should have got more. You can also freeze cheese. I would not freeze it as a whole block. It does not defrost very well. It tends to go a bit crumbly. <laughs> but you could freeze it in something or you could also, what I would do is I would grate it up and then freeze it into just but I would just freeze it in how much fits in a freezer bag. <laughs> it's not very helpful. And then I would just take out what I need and then sprinkle it on. So if you don't know, let me show you. You can freeze um, cheese. This one has frozen like a whole block, <laughs> um, which which is fine. And I got these from the company shop a while ago. These are um, 
Marks and Spencer's grated mozzarella. I just threw the whole thing in there and then when I want a pizza or whatever, just take this whole thing out and just put it on the pizza frozen or put it on a pasta bake frozen or whatever it is and it just defrosts then melts in the oven. And that is my haul guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got a company shop near you, check it out. See if you can get yourself any bargains. Let me know, have you ever been to a company shop or have you ever even heard of it? I just heard of it. I forgot to show you, but I also got this 10 and a half kilo bag of white potatoes as well. I'll see you in my next video, guys. I do new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.